hi guys welcome back to the channel today we're diving deep into the boom and crash scalping strategy a popular technique in trading the volatile markets boom and crash indices offer significant price movements with a short time making them favorable for scalping and scalping is a trading strategy where positions are opened and closed rapidly to capture small profit for example taking four to five candlesticks on a boom and crash per trade as scalping for me, I use scalping strategy to avoid sudden spike and drops in price movements when taking a buy or a sell position, and I keep the small profits for the trade. I avoid the spikes and drops in price movements, then take the small profits from the trade. But before we dive deeper into this strategy, let's understand the fundamentals of scalping strategy. Scalping involves making quick, frequent trades and aiming for small profits. In the case of boom and crash, it's important to spot short-term trends within these highly volatile markets. And scalpers need to closely monitor their trades to be prepared to exit quickly if the market moves against them. But this requires discipline and the ability to make quick decisions. So now let's talk about risk management. Risk management is very important, that's why scalpers often use proper position sizing and limiting the amount of capital at risk per trade. They also set predetermined risk to reward ratio to ensure that potential profits overweigh potential losses. For example, if I have a $100 account, I would risk $20 to trade and I would plan the trade and analyze the market for a good entry and exit point for a better trade. Alright, so risk management is very important and it's also important for traders to practice the boom and crash strategy on a demo account to allow them to improve their skills and gain confidence in their trading abilities. All right. And to get a clear picture of scalping strategy, let's see the illustration in a chart. So now we are on the crash 500 index and the strategy relies on technical analysis, focusing on the indicators like the moving average, the RSI and the average true ratio to identify entries and exit points. All right. And most traders often use short time frames such as one minute time frame and the five minutes time frame. So I'm going to set the indicators I use for scalping and I'm going to show the setup as well as the strategy I use. All right. And I'm going to carry out this strategy on a demo account. Okay. Because it's important for a trader to always practice with the demo account. All right. So I'm going to set this as an example. All right. Now, so quickly, let's go to the indicators. We're going to use the moving average right on period 200 while it shifts zero. The method is exponential and you apply it to close then you put on all time frames why the style on two pixel and the color should be any color of your choice but i use purple right here just as you can see then i click on done right so we can clearly see the moving average on the shots all right clearly showing us the price to movement then the second indicator which i'm going to use is the rsi the relative trade index on period 14 while applying to close right here then apply to all time frames as well on two pixel on the style i use the color of blue but you can use any color of your choice as well all right then after that you click on done so this is the rsi okay but we're also going to set another settings on the rsi which is the levels okay we're going to put on the level right here on 80 going to add another levels again level 10 we're going to click on done after that right so these are the indicators well we're going to use the average true range as well okay we're going to look for the average true range indicator on period 14 why the levels on two then the style right here on the levels two pixel why the color on blue all right but you can use any color of your choice then you click on done then the style right here on the main page of the average true range is two pixel by the color you choose on red or any color of your choice by use the color of red then click on done all right so these are the indicators the moving average the relative trade index and the average true range all right we're using three indicators for the strategy for scalping all right but before that i'm going to change the settings on the rsi on the levels i'm going to put on the style right here on two pixel where i'm going to set the color to black right on the rsi then i'm going to click on done so i can clearly see the levels of 80 and 10 which i'm going to use for this scalping strategy okay so what i'm going to do on the chart right now on crash 500 index is to enter into a trade immediately the average to range process the level of 80 so this is going to be my entry points at this block 
right here okay so immediately the average range crosses above the level of 80 it's going to spike on the crash 500 index market so this is going to be a good entry point for me which i'm going to enter into the market and take about four to five candle ticks as scalping so remember the scalping is taking some more profit within price movements on the market all right we're taking some more profit as scalping because this market is a highly volatile market so that's why i was scalping using a strategy called scalping strategy all right and i'm showing you the way i use to scalp on my trade okay so just like i said immediately it crosses above the level of 80 it will spike okay so this is a position for a buy entry okay to take a small profit from the market and exit quickly so to understand the strategy perfectly well you need to know technical analysis you need to understand price movements as well as price actions as well okay you need to know how the market moves okay you also need to check the previous trend on the market to see our price action has been previously on the market okay so this is one of my strategy i use for scalping on crash 500 index so now i'm gonna switch the market to boom 500 and show you as well how i can use the same strategy for scalping all right so now let's go over to the boom 500 index now you can really see here that when price crosses above this level of 80 when the average true range crosses above this level of 80 it calls for a spike right here at this point there was a spike right here you can clearly see this is the spike okay so when the spike occurred you take a sell because the sell for boom and it's a buy for a crash now right here calls for a sell now this is sell entry point for me which i'm going to take and scalp to the market and take about five candles from this market because i'm taking small profit because that's how scalping works you take small profit from the market to avoid spike because the market is very volatile okay it's highly volatile all right so remember why this strategy can bring quick profits it also involves significant risks due to the volatile nature of boom and crash markets so risk management is very important okay so now to summarize this up the boom and crash scalping strategy requires quick decision making and a solid understanding on technical analysis and disciplined risk management all right and that's all for today so if you found this video very helpful and you really enjoy watching this video then like and subscribe to our channel the daily forex and stay tuned for more trading tips and strategy all right i'll see you guys on the next video